Hi, this is Highbridge Caravans, Devon Branch, and on this absolutely grim January day, we're doing a quick walk around video on this very rare 2014 Adria Sun Living Flexo van conversion. So, this is a 2014 Fitch Cato 6 meter fixed bed van conversion. Uh, it's a Sun Living, and Sun Living are the sister brand or the sub brand of uh, Adria. Most big European brands, including Heimer, who have Carrado, Sunlight, who have Deathless, Snouts, who have Weinsberg, have another brand, a sister brand, which produce slightly cheaper, still very, very well built um, product. Initially, these brands were probably set up and designed at the German massive fleet rental companies, but have proved quite popular with sort of canny buyers who want something that, that is at a reasonable price point but still has. Um, premium build quality. Now the difference between the Sun Living and all the other major European sub brands is that this is built on the Adria production line in Nova Mesto in Slovenia in the main Adria factory so you'll get exactly the same build quality as the man next year who spent 150 grand on his Adria Sonic or 75 grand on his Adria Twin. So this is the Sun Living Flexo SP, it's a 6 metre fixed bed um, end fixed bed back conversion. It's a three berth with four seat belt, three and a half ton. It's an automatic, which is very, very rare in a reasonably price. Any used fixed bed van conversion is rare, and automatic used one is even rarer. Done 35,000 miles, 5.99 metres long, 2.05 wide, not including the wing mirrors, 2.58 tall, and it's priced at 37,995, which in this day and age is exactly what it's worth. And that will come with a full MOT, a major engine service, including a cam belt change, a full habitation service, and our unique in-house hybrid 12-month warranty which covers all your factory fitted features mechanical and habitational wise and uniquely it's not from a warranty company we pay the bills and we will pay somebody far away to fix it if you're far away at the time so let's have a little walk around it good condition uh, color coded bumpers which sometimes you don't see on the uh, less expensive version so it's a smart looking thing got these plastic mirror guards do excuse the wind noise it is ridiculously windy here today it's really bitter um, European vans so and the habitation door is on the driver's side and um, Adria actually invented the fixed bed van conversion with the original Adria twin and this is basically the original or the 2007 on Adria twin they just carried on building it changed the name to Sun Living kept the price down and it's a well tried and tested thing so it's a 130 brake six speed automatic that's a um, single clutch semi-automatic gearbox it's very reliable and very economical same economy as a manual gearbox you've got some white mirror guards there body works excellent no faults there it's got cab blinds which you actually I wouldn't expect to see on a um, on a Sun Living but it's got these Remis cab blinds which are really expensive obviously it's all looking smart on the Fiat Ducato with the Euro 5 dashboard you've got that six-speed semi-auto that ran from 2008 to 2019 it was a long-lived gearbox it's not as sort of slick of change as, as a fully automatic but it's very reliable uh, you've got a decent radio CD with an auxiliary input, you've got air conditioning and I can't quite see if you've got cruise control yet, you've got cruise control down there. You've also got a mirror mounted Vision Plus reversing camera so it's got all the nice bits that you'd want on it. Electric step on the side there, wind out awning up high which is great. Fridge venture with a three way fridge freezer, these still add three way fridge freezers, I like a three way fridge freezer me. Um, doesn't run off battery so it run off mains or gas if you're not hooked up. Fresh water full up point there, these have got an internal fresh water tank which will stop it freezing up in the cold weather which is good. You've got a bike rack on the back uh, for two bikes and that reversing camera actually it's a double reversing camera that so uh, that's really good so that means you've got one that points far back for when you're driving and one that points down for when you're reversing so it's got some nice tackle on it this double glazed proper opening motone windows all the way around and the Slovenians take these things skiing in fairness to it and obviously Adria are massive company sold all through Germany and France uh, and people do take these skiing quite regularly so they're very very capable bits of kit. Opening up the back doors I mean the main reason or one of the main reasons people buy a fixed bed van conversion as well as for the comfort and convenience of not having to make up your bed all the time is the storage and you've got absolutely Brewster's load of storage. Nice wood finish, kind of light, which is good, quite neutral. Um, but look at all that storage space there. So you can, from the back, you can just load up all your chairs, tables, outdoor gear, wind brakes, awnings, whatever you want. All nicely panelled in and finished off as well. So it doesn't overtly sort of feel or look like a, 
not a budget but brand but a non-premium brand it feels like a proper thing this um, now this bed can all you can see that catch up there can just cantilever up hook it up to there and then you've got walkthrough access that panel there will come around to there and you've got walkthrough access you can put your Christmas tree in it or motorbikes or whatever you want in the side uh, if you so desire to do so making it a practical day-to-day -day proposition as a second vehicle massive gas locker you'll fit two in 11 kilo refillable bottles or six kilo maybe even 13 kilo Calagas bottles in there again condition is very good actually so yeah, body works fine. If I do notice anything, there might, must be the odd little mark, but if I notice anything, I'll point it out. I think that's just a bit of, yeah, a bit of muck off the roof. Up on the roof, there's a TV aerial. At some point, it's had gas low refillable bottles fitted because you can see the filler point there. So if you did want to add them again, uh, some of the hard work's been done. They're the ones where you fill up with LPG from a gas tank. But if you are in Scotland, there are uh, less and less places that do it. So you might want to stick with Calagas or have one each. A flue for your Truma heating system, you've got Truma gas powered heating and hot water, which is blown air heating, separate cassette toilet, that's your toilet window there, tinted windows for privacy all the way around, mains hook up, you've got single leisure battery, and um, yeah, that's about it on the outside. Air condition, being picky I suppose, is a very, is that a scrape, or is that just a watermark? I don't know, it's very, very light anyway, it's nothing much on there, and yeah, all good all the way around. So we come on to the inside now. So on the inside, we've got a typical European layout. So we've got a front lounge with twin swivel cab seats. This table here will drop down and it will make a small lumpy bed. You can see there's some cushions on the bed back there. They will make that into a small bed, which is all right for a child or a jockey, something like that, a short adult, you'd be okay on there. Um, water tank and a bit of storage underneath of there. And then that's the back of the kitchen. You've got a rail out there so you can clip your table from the inside onto the outside, which is a neat idea. So we'll go inside and close the door so it is absolutely bolted out there. So coming inside, it's a typical European half dinette lounge. You've got two seat belts there. A decent bit of storage over the cab. Now the only fault I can really throw at this vehicle is the uh, the leatherette edging, which was supposed to be hard wearing, hasn't turned out to be that hard wearing. So you can see, it's just had some wear there. Cab seats have got these neat cab seat covers on to protect them, but obviously in the past there's been a bit of wear on the bolsters. Well, that's okay. There's a bit of wear there on that bolster. And maybe a bit on the sides as well. Let's have a look under there. I can't quite get that up under there, but it feels all right, that one. But... Oh, yeah, that one's okay. That one's quite well fitted, so I can't get it up. But yeah, you've got a bit of wear on the leatherette bits. That's the only fault I would throw at this fan, really. I mean, it is seven-year-old, but there will be other things on it. But we'll say thoroughly check everything over on it. But apart from that, it's nice and up and together. It doesn't smell a dog or anything like that. It's not been smoked in. I like the nice big window in the sliding door. Looking at the kitchen, typical European fare, you've got a sink and a two burner hob. No oven on uh, on these. 12 volt plug and a mains plug for the kitchen. Same over here as well, you've got your TV point there, will fit a bracket there. People always take the TV off and take the bracket off, just leave the bloody brackets on people and just take the TVs off, so we'll fit a new bracket on there. Decent sized storage cupboards all the way around. Blinds and fly screens of course on all your side windows. Plenty of deep cupboard space within the kitchen for you to carry other cooking equipment, food and stuff. Your three-way fridge freezer, which you'll see this same one in loads of vans, decent size. Wardrobe above it, again a very good size wardrobe. Your TV aerial, it's got a digital uh, omnidirectional status aerial on the roof, that's the power box, power booster box for it there. Your bathroom. Just a wet room bathroom, pretty standard van conversion fair, sliding door makes the best use of space for your shower. This pulls out. Adria for years never put anywhere to hang that, but I mean, it's just somewhere to hose yourself down. Most most of the time you're not using the shower in here anyway. But if you want to fashion yourself a holder for it, I'm sure you could do. Tepic set toilet, bit of storage and a shower curtain to come around and stop your bathroom getting wet over there as well, which is neat. Then we've got the bed at the back, which you saw from the outside. 
it's a good size bed it's sort of just over six foot lengthways i like these little storage pockets at the side we got a couple of lights up here as well uh, and um whatever that is that's another light switch for your ceiling lights on oh, no, it's a blank that your heater controls are in your bedroom as well which is nice you can turn your heat and heating on and off without getting up which is a really good thing so it's a good size bed with plenty of clothes storage as well and overall it's a nice plain neutral modern van with a desirable automatic gearbox at a sensible price it's only real negative it's showing a bit of wear on the edges of the seats uh, we're just where the vinyl's got a bit brittle with age you could retrim them if it bothered you or you could just live with it as it is it's fine but it's up to you so this is the 2014 automatic sun living from adria flexo sp at hybrid caravans devon branch uh, it won't be around for long this used fixed bed van conversion especially automatic ones are very very desirable so any questions contact us at hybrid motorhomes devon you can send us an email through the website if you've seen this on youtube you can comment on youtube do be aware we don't take the youtube videos down so this van may now have been sold but if you like it you've got any questions get in touch hybrid caravans devon thank you very very much goodbye